So nice to have you here on the live stream. I hope you're doing well. I do appreciate your time. Comment in the comments below where you're calling from. It could be any time because I've noticed there's people from all over the world. And if you came here to watch me, I really am grateful and I appreciate you spending your time with me here on Saturday night. It is about 8 p.m. here on the East Coast. The first fragrance, just going to go over lots of fragrances today. Hidden gems, clones, and things. Just fragrance talk. Tomorrow we are releasing a fragrance video that old uncle's been working on for about six weeks. It's called 200 Clones. Very massive list. I hope you'll enjoy it. So this is kind of like the pre-show to warm you up. But not necessarily all those fragrances are on here. Just lots of fragrance talk. So hello to everyone. Again, thank you so much for joining me. The first fragrance I want to talk to you about is called Halloween Man X. It's a versatile fragrance that any age can wear, 8 to 80. And when you first smell it, it's kind of like bubblegum, kind of like Invictus, because there's a nice clean lavender in it. But interestingly enough, Halloween Man X, the blue bottle, has some nice coffee note, roasted coffee mixed with cinnamon and whiskey. That's the first one that you can blind buy best fragrance all occasions going into an interview or even going on a date the next one's called paco rabanne one million lucky it's a hybrid fragrance very sweet by the paco rabanne one million line that came out in 2018 and if you can't afford it there is a fragrance that's been now secretly i don't know if everyone knows about it but it was 25 dollars, and now it's like rising skyrocketing it's called ishk al shuyuk silver by la tafa but anyway about paco raban one million hello justin hello mark and joaquin lopez how are you doing it's a hybrid of the plum family like a greenage plum inside along with hazelnuts woods and greens and paco raban one million lucky dries down to a woody honey scent with a touch of plum extremely gets you mega compliments mega projection very well advertised, very, very well sweet. Like you could go, sweet fragrances are for youthful people and they also consider them clubbing, but I've worn it in the fall, cold weather, hot weather. And it opens up, attracts women like crazy because you smell sweet. And on certain skins, you might think it's feminine. I remember when we first got it and I was asking people's opinion and they said, someone said, it kind of smells like Tom Ford Black Orchid or Velvet Orchid. I'm like, no, oh, not that sweet and boozy but sometimes people love it sometimes people hate it sometimes people can't pull it off something like that is very unique because it takes time to acquire a taste it's so sweet but sugared wood just what you think about inside information real quick guys if you're looking for fragrances that you want to impress your woman and they all go i see you're watching all these fragrance reviews what should i buy they don't know because they don't watch fragrance reviewers simple you just tell them valentino almost anything valentino is good <clears throat> and I'll start with Alberto Marias's one, Valentina, from 2011. That's a very easy, floral, fresh fragrance that anyone can wear. It's bold, but soft and delicious and delicate. All, all this jasmine, tuberose, and strawberries sit on top of cedar, vanilla, and amber. It's what well-made perfumery is, and you will be advanced if you tell them, buy Valentina Valencia. It has, like, organic natural vanilla in it and vanilla makes it work so good with the florals and then if you can find the one called pink i did put it i found them all on amazon it's a pink one's like more for girly girly pink you know the bartender at the fort lauderdale weston that works on the beach got it and it smells like strawberries blackberries musk with a rose heart and two three different kinds of different roses bulgarian rose and peonies and all that stuff cashmere and think about light and dark red and pink all different shades then it has blackberries i'm talking about fragrances that you could buy or if you're a female and you want to know what to buy it that's very good and affordable and just works good valentino pink is one to get beautiful fruity fragrance that kind of reminds you of dior sherry has anyone ever heard of valentino pudra so now they have these other fragrances, just telling them, I'm getting ready to go right here into a list of complimented fragrances for men. But 2016, the Pudra one came out. Now Narciso Rodriguez is doing the same thing with Narciso Rodriguez, Pudra and this and that. But it's musk, mellow, iris, tuberose, sandalwood, vanilla, tonka bean, luxurious. Pudra's powdery iris type fragrance, a little bit more mature. But all those Valentinas are fantastic hidden gems for women. The next one is for a variety of occasions. 
Has anyone comment down below try Risala by Arabian Oud or Arabian Tonka by Montal? I almost bought the Arabian Tonka. I just want to know, can you help me out? Let me know if those are any good. And if you want to know five fragrances that you'll get massive compliments with, starting with probably one of the most expensive, Parfums de Marley Sedley. The second one's called Cedra Boise, which is almost like a Ventus. The third one's called Dior Sauvage Elixir, which is a smoky, licorice type, awesome fragrance. They all get you compliments. Pegasus, number four, is like an almond, creamy, unique fragrance. And if you want to smell like any of those tomorrow, the clone video will come out and tell you the answers to all that. And then Parfums de Marley, Darley, and Versace, Dylan Blue, for a very, very low price. You could smell like Bulgari Aqua Atlantique. It's called Versace, Dylan Blue. Now, anyone smelled Arabian Tonka? I would love to know that. And anything by Kajal. I almost bought Kajal. Kajal Om, Kajal Om too, but I didn't, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know. I didn't think it was good. And of course, Spice Bomb. This time of year, Spice Bomb Eau de Toilette versus Spice Bomb Extreme. Comment down below which one do you like better. And then Ragba Wood Intense by La Tapa is good. I've never bought any Naxos. And then there's another group called Artesian Queer Sacra. That wasn't bad. It's like a sugared leathery fragrance. And I've never tried some of these other fragrances I've been hearing talking about. Okay, let's go to the comment section and say hi to everyone. We do have Mark. Mark Bryson here. Can it pull this guy up? Whoa. Nope. And then Justin. How you doing, Justin? And Kevin. Oh, there's your Kevin's Hawthorne's always here. Thank you so much, Clarence Wheeler. Peace and love. 119 likes. I don't under I don't even know what that stuff means, man. <laughs> I had Halloween Man X is good. White Knight. Hey man, a good clone of Baccarat Satin Oud. Clones Oud Satin Mood. Kada, what's up, Unc? Let me get to Halloween X. We're just talking here, bro. We're just talking. Have a good night, sir. What do you think about Halloween Man One Shot? Yeah, that one reminds me of One Million. I do like it. Terry Book, where can I buy that Aventus clone in the green bottle? Right here, bro. Get yourself before this live stream ends. Go here and get it. Plus, I put the link in the description. It's called Citrus Oud. Go to bestbrandsperfume.com, get Citrus Oud, and get 10% off by using Live 10 discount. All right, Terry, help me out. I really, really would appreciate it because I'm going to make a video tomorrow at 11 a.m. It's the longest video I've ever made, and I'll be on the chat screen while it's premiering. And I hope all of you can join me. And if you want me to have a secret giveaway just between us that are on the live tonight, I'll do that because you guys are hardcore. Thank you. Anybody can help me out with a super chat. I'm eating out of a tuna can again. Terry Buck, you got the answer, right? I didn't hear my thing ring. <laughs> All right, we're going to get back to some The Clones Man Returns. I'm wearing Shayaka Kajal. Ooh, I think I put that in my... Oh, Cod, Codlid Shayaka. Abel Adams. That's the Codlid Shayaka Red. It smells like it smells like the Amouage Reflection Man. I only drink Unk approved water. This video is not sponsored by Eternal, but if you want to be the Eternal person, you can sponsor me. I love your water. Okay, we're going to talk some more. We got Jonathan here. Hey, Uncle, is this Jonathan, the guy you just emailed me? And we do have Asadawi here. And we have Mark Bryson. I found Risala Rebin Oud from watching Curly Fragrance. Oh, is it any good? Wilson Aguilar. Greetings from Southern California. Nice. That's like um, San Diego. You get any deals tonight? Anything you buy, $60 or more, live 10 discount while this is going on. If you're on the restream, it goes on for another 24 hours in case you're watching it on Sunday. You guys can use it too and throw yourself in a free fragrance. Just type in free. There's probably five left. There's some Carl Lagerfeld and some other miscellaneous ones. Scent of the day for Justin is Le Mail Le Parfum. What kind of water? Oh, you... 
you only drink this kind eternal natural spring water don't drink the sunny it sucks don't wear michael kors brand new fragrances they suck don't drink smart water it's stupid real talk <laughs> randall real estate he says greetings from across the hallway he's evidently my neighbor or something next wow i'm watching myself on a restream now it's creepy interlude mang one of the most best fragrances out there for incense leathery smoke patchouli frankincense you're doing dark woody leathery smoky thick sweet touch of fruit floral interlude man is by amouage two three hundred dollar fragrance get intiba on this website it's called intiba by risala it's 30 bucks exact same smell 10 hours longevity here's another fragrance you can get to get compliments that nobody ever talks about it's fairly cheap too now it used to be 180 dollars and i see it everywhere for under 100 it's called serge lutin sergi c-h-e-r-g-u-i it's a warm sweet oriental with tobacco leaves amber on a bed of hay with a touch of sandalwood honey leaf tobacco rose hay think about honey tobacco floral just speaking about tobacco we have a brand new just jack tobacco leaf just landed on that website live 10 discount gets you 10 percent off please help support your channel all all profits go right back into getting you fragrances and giving away fragrances wait till christmas time you'll see a santa like you've never seen okay so very expensive on clothes we're talking about serge lutin it's very expensive smelling it complements you can get 10 hours with three sprays you can wear it in any situation and it's a seven foot sage if you get something called serge lutin sergi you're talking about a real beast mode fragrance now i'm kind of crammed up in here that's why i'm not really showing you any fragrances i do have a whole bunch around me but if i move the whole flat screen will move back behind me i had just kind of wanted to get on here and say hi to everyone vaughn and eric over what's up my friend mike l is here too 1997. the next fragrance i wanted to talk about was lalique Ancre noir extreme for the price and longevity it's a banger but it's heavy on vetiver and cypress which i don't really like vetiver and cypress but it's like a dark ink smell longevity is about six hours and trail is strong and you could wear that night time in the fall lalique Ancre noir i say is for 30 to 35 years and up have you ever heard of bond number nine new bond street 2018 i have a prediction that it will go way up high like the new harlem did because i used to buy new harlem for 90 dollars. now i see bond number nine new bond street for 90 dollars. new bond street smells like i love new york 2011 anyway but new bond street is a banger but it's you have to like those type of fragrances it's got sweet spicy warm oriental citrus floral pepper bergamot pepper patchouli and leather and vanilla which makes it so sexy so raw 20 hours lasting and then there's a new tom ford cafe rose kind of smells like it but it's the old cafe rose not the new one and then there's a fragrance on the website called oros cafe rose or oros rose which is the dupe of the new cafe rose next fragrance you can buy to smell awesome is called jor ohm intense the ones that came out in 2007 then it came back out in 2011 and back then even a five ounce bottle was 120 it's lavender iris pear musk mallow christian thank you so much for the super chat from R randall real estate thank you so much lavender is really clean inside your own intense thank you again randall if you have any questions i'll answer yours first while the iris is like a powdery floral almost like a violet scent anybody who doesn't like durham intense comment down below because i do know there are haters now when i wear durham Om intense the citrus comes in makes it lemony lavender biscuit like later on you know and i haven't seen vanilla listed in it does anyone know anything about that but kind of does anyone think it smells similar to yomo valentino intense but the longevity is like 12 to 14 hours price tag is huge i'm going to tell you another cool fragrance that i saw on amazon for 90 bucks 
<clears throat> by Alberto Marias. It's called Bulgari Man Extreme, launched in 2013. It's got cactus juice, bergamot, pink pepper, freesia. It's got some woody notes. It's extremely unique. It's very mature, and you can wear it in spring, summer, office. Just don't spray it too much. It's a good six-hour fragrance, but very well made. And when you think about it, it's in the same category as Hermes and Aventus and Aquadigio, but it's different. It's like an alpha male fragrance. It's called Bulgari Man Extreme. Here's a fragrance that I've seen in Marshalls and stuff that really sucks. It's called Do Not Buy Extreme Rush by Michael Kors. It's got blood oranges, bergamot, thyme. I don't even want to say the rest. It's just disgusting. Even if you find it for $22, I wouldn't buy it. Here's a fragrance you might like. It costs $15 to $29 on Amazon. It's a hidden gem called Eclat de Arpege by Lanvin, which lasts eight hours. It came out in 2015. It's just one of those simple, light, crisp, clean, fresh fragrances. I would say 29 years and up. Pleasant citrus airy sophisticated fragrance for more of warm weather if you've ever smelled ben's man club fresh you would like that one another fragrance we have for 15 dollars on this website here for like 18 bucks but you take that 10 percent off it's called dracar noir intense version which came out in 2021 or two and that has a projection and siage that's pretty well it's in I, I remember testing it and it lasted two hours in high heat you still get some compliments with it some people hate it some people love it i think it's unique it's got a nice unique quality to it with some creamy florals and cacao notes and things like that kind of boozy a little bit not bad if you're looking for a creamy floral coconut fragrance and it's fresh rose on eBay, I saw Nishani, Vain, and Naive. I wonder if I have that. I still have it pulled up. Here, I'll show you. You can see this. Whoa. Look at this. Can you see that? 78 bucks, brand new in the box. Okay, I think I put the link on that too. So that is a good fragrance that has coconut in it. And it has orange and bergamot cedar benzoin resins is very unique and another fragrance that's very good to get is called cristianado ronaldo cr7 it's got a nice dry down it smells kind of like la male it's got artemisia in it okay we're gonna go we have no more people talking here so now i'm gonna go show you this is a new fragrance called oris it's plain old oris it smells like bulgari tiga it lasts about 20 hours and it lasts five days on skin it's got a pressurized sprayer and a big huge box this is called citizen jack open road 60 percent off if you type in malal 60 on the on the thing you get citizen jack 60 percent off all even for restreamers and it smells like this I, almost identical to Prada Luna Rosa Sport. Nice, fresh, clean fragrance. So it's like 120 and you get 60% off. It comes down to like 40 bucks. Another fragrance you can get on Amazon for 12 bucks is called Nautica Life. Nautica Life. It's got sage, lavender, violet leaf, sea moss. It's a little bit more richer and deeper than Nautica Voyage, which is the ultimately the number one fragrance ever. Another fragrance you can get I saw on Amazon is called Bulgari Aqua Amara. Orange Ocean Floral Green Incense. Some people say it smells like piss. Some people say it's the best marmalade fragrance that smells like honey and ocean and patchouli and green shrubs and everything put together with a dirty orange fresh aquatic. Some say it's similar to Sauvage, but I don't agree with that. So Citizen Jack Open Road. Malal 60, get it, you get 60% off. It smells like Prada Luna Rosa Sports, got some ginger, ginger in it. Citizen Jack also has very many similarities to Prada Open Sport. It's got a fresh 
invigorating energetic boost right when I sprayed it. It's got the ginger, which both Prada Luna Rosa Sport and Michael Malal Citizen Jack has. Open Road, it's called. It also has good for casual occasions, going to the gym, spring at anywhere, office environments, well shaved or not shaved, bearded, whatever you want. It's very comfortable. It's like super common. Prada Luna Rosa Sport is a very easy, fresh to like fragrance. And I will call this Prada Luna Rosa Sport. Then you got the Just Jack Tobacco Leaf. Because that one's by Just Jack. It's like $35. And it smells like tobacco vanilla with a beast mode. It's all about the tobacco and the vanilla. And here's the new one from La Tapa. We're going to test it right in front of you. It's called Liam Blue. I got to go. Come on, Mark. Don't go. Anyway, Mark, come by tomorrow at 11 a.m. My video is popping up. Okay. Any good YSL Libre clones? Yes, there are, Imran. Mark, so anybody who can come back tomorrow at 11 a.m., we're premiering a video. This is La Tafa Liam Blue Shine. It just came out on the website. It smells like Aqua Di Gio Profondo. Spray it right here. Projects like crazy. It gets a green apple ocean right off the bat. But when I tested longevity so far, it's been four to five hours, but we have to macerate it. So we'll spray it like that, right? Boy, now it's all over the room. The box looks like this. The box for Ari's looks like this. Oh, yeah. Next fragrance is called Nusuk Fawa. This is a very good clone of Paco Rabanne's Phantom. Nusuk Fawa. The good clone of Paco Rabanne Phantom. Last eight hours, have you earthy, smoky, vanilla, lemon fragrance. Check this out. Now we're getting into some new fragrances. <clears throat> this is called Golden Oud from Alahar, Maine. It comes in this golden casing that looks like a house. And then you spray it. It's real, authentic oud that develops deliciously. It lasts like eight hours easily or ten oh, it smells like really good like not like it doesn't remind me of oud it's just so unique i even think jeremy fragrance was talking about it saying it was five thousand dollars but it's not five thousand it's like a hundred bucks or something 80 bucks maybe jeremy fragrance is the bomb what do you think about jeremy fragrance man with sense good evening <clears throat> Eric over Sapphire Red is overrated in my opinion. Uh, you might as well get, there's so many better ones that smells like Baccarat Rouge. This is called La Tapa Infinity Rose. I wouldn't recommend anyone to buy this either. I think it's terrible. It's just my opinion. I don't know what it's trying to go after, some kind of rose fragrance. But not good this is called nayel oud i just featured this on videos is fire 24 hour lasting nayel oud is tuxedo that's the clone nayel oud looks like this it's by arabiat it projects it lasts long it's insane the only thing it's missing is the violet note that tuxedo has in the beginning you know if anyone's familiar with that <clears throat> this is another fragrance called ishtar roses and vanilla i have never even reviewed it yet but i would uh, suppose that this is roses and vanilla is a fragrance for mancera roses and vanilla and we'll spray that oh nice this is very good it smells like like a fruity, rosy vanilla. I like it. 
This is the fragrance called Ariz Intense. It's the brother to Ariz. Bulgari Tiger Ariz mixed with Blue de Chanel. 10 to 12 hours power, 24 hours to 48 hours on clothes. Ariz Intense is an angel sheer clone with a sprinkle of leather suede and cognac as opposed to a big gallop of cognac. It's a little bit more sweeter like Hamra is but stronger and longer lasting and more well blended. These are high-end fragrance clones that are awesomely priced that last forever. If you can come across any good Halting clones, let us know. Everyone say, says the same as Oud for fragrances. Greatness. You ordered Nile Oud earlier today. Where did you get it, man, with scents? Where did you get it? This is the new. This is the brand new Aventus clone. It's called Ishtar Citrus Oud. I'll open it for you in one moment. This is called Al Shaikh. Has anyone ever seen that before? Al Shuk. Eric Ober says, thank you. Ordered Nail Ooh, didn't know you had it. So coming to the bottom of the list. Hey, F. Torres, hey, Uncle. What's a good clone of Armani Stronger with you? Absolutely. <clears throat> I think Fragrance World came up with one, but I've never tested it. This is smelling like Layton Exclusive. Not bad, though. It's not bad at all. I've had this for like six weeks or six months actually. I'm now spraying it. This is called Reef Cat by Paris Corner. This is a YSL baby cat clone. And it looks like this. I'm wearing baby cat tonight. Ugh. Not now never spray it in the box because it'll make you mad. This is called Niall Queen. It's the new baby cat clone that blows everything away. It's so strong, it lasted six hours in the air, just spraying it in the air on nothing. It lasts six hours on nothing, 12 hours on skin, and seven weeks on clothes. No joke. It's called Niall Queen. I'm not even kidding you. It lasts six hours when you just spray it in the air. It'll last six hours. It is fantastic. Order Nio Oud. Eric Over says, thank you. Citrus Oud or Hypnotic Amber. They're completely different. So Hypnotic Amber is great for eight years old to 80, man. I mean, that thing is a compliment getter and very easy to wear. Citrus Oud is more powerful, more masculine, but still it's a Ventist on steroids. I would go with the hypnotic amber just because I'm, unless you're an expert level Aventus person, then you get the citrus suit. But I like hypnotic amber better. Girlfriend likes it better, and all these other girls down south in Miami Beach like it. But they've never smelled citrus suit, but citrus suit reminds me of something like not only intense. Again, Nile Queen is the best baby cat ysl dupe you can buy it smells just like it and i'm a baby cat expert lover and i love baby cat i'm wearing it tonight when i went to the longhorn steakhouse because that's all i could afford made my girlfriend pay this is paco raban phantom earthy smoky vanilla right i just found this called new ai it looks like a suitcase, like you got something important in it. Then you take it out. Made in USA. You take it out of the stand, and here it is. Batch code C203. Very unique. Eau de, eau de toilette spray, but projection spray is insane. Look at that bottle. Doesn't it remind you of something like Paco Rabanne Metal? This thing is a beast mode of Paco Rabanne's Phantom. It just 
Mmm. It smells so easy to wear. Smoky vanilla. It's just not that smoky. It's more vanilla lemon than that, but it still smells really good. Like, blow your mind away how strong it is. Help me to try. Have to try that Nile Queen too, I reckon. Yeah, you gotta try all of them, man. With sense, don't you have a YouTube channel? You should try all three of them. You should try Citrus Oud. You should try Aribiat. This one, it's called Oriz, and then the Oriz Intense. They're all about the same price. You should try them all if you can go on my website and I'll, if you tell me I'm man with sense, I'll throw you in a whole bunch of free gifts. Like I got this half a bottle of Polo Black, you know, I'll just throw that in there. Stuff like that. I'm not saying that, but I got all kinds of stuff I can throw in for free to anybody who buys on this live stream and says, I was on the Saturday night live stream. Better give me some free gifts, but ask nicely and I will. Here's one called RMF Imperia. It's another clone of this, and it's fantastically smelling. It's so well blended. All right, Man With Sense is working on it. Retro Riot, Citrus Oud or Hypnotic and I already answered that. Looks like we have three people here. How many people are watching? I wouldn't even know. Oh, it says 29. Okay, that's nice. That is really good. Like smooth operator. It's a compliment getter. RMAP Imperia Limited Edition. It smells just like Pakoraban Phantom. I'd really get that too. If you want to smell like that on a budget, you get this. Here's one that's pretty cool. That's the Nail King. It's like YSL Supreme Bouquet, but it's got some leather and suede and oud in it. Revy's Raul's Freedom Fragrance. We got all these. We got the new La Tapa Liam Blue. It smells like Aqua Di Gio Profundo Aquatic Green Freshy by La Tapa. Comes in this big, huge box. Fire. Look it up. This is the most mass appealing compliment. Getting $35 fragrance to smell like YSLY for any age. You can wear it to an interview. You can wear it to lunch, to work, to a date. It's awesome. It's called Odyssey Mega. You can wear it in any occasion all year long. And it lasts long. This is called Nile King. It smells like supreme bouquet of oriental flowers with oud and leather. Yeah, it does smell a little bit feminine, but it's good. It smells really good. Like really, really good. If you, even, you know what I mean? Here's Lalique Ancre Noir a la Extreme. This is an old fragrance. It focuses on vetiver. People love it. I don't know why people love this fragrance. We're doing this show here because tomorrow I hope to see you all on the live stream. I'm, I'm launching a video and I'll just be on the side chat window. That's a 28 minute video. It's the first time I've ever done something. If you could show your support. And show up and say, hey, I came here from the live stream. That'll be awesome. And maybe, you know, we'll figure something out if, if I see your name. I'll take care of you all Christmas. You won't believe what your boxes will look like. But before before the rush, like before Thanksgiving. Yeah, it smells good. It's smoky. It's kind of leathery. It's vel vetiviri, like green herbal. Lalique. I like this one better than the regular all extreme and better than regular Ancre Noir. Joaquin Lopez says the free fragrance I sent him arrived broken. Okay, Joaquin, I'll send you another one. Don't worry. You, I will send you two more free fragrances, okay? It's no problem. I'll take care of you. Let me see your name again in that order list, though. <laughs> here's another citrus oud oh here it is the famous citrus oud everyone's been talking about this beast mode here we have a question you got tonka cola nah i got some coke if you want coca-cola that's a joke 
we got Sunset Sheen. He says, What's better, Aries? Unk, between the Aries and Nile frags, what you think is better performance? Listen, man. Every single one of them is great performance, but the Nile fragrances go above and beyond. That's my opinion. This is called Ishtar Citrusud. We're going to spray that now. This is the Aventus Beast. On some website, they said it smells like Cedrat Boise, and I can see that. Oh, look at that. This is good. You should get this is masculine Aventus, smoky Aventus right here. This lasted 12 hours. I did it hot yoga for 90 minutes in a 107 degree room. It didn't dissipate whatsoever. It project and pissed people off and I have to take risks like that for you so I can make sure that the fragrance is working right. I go into the pool with the fragrance on and I come out. If chemicals from a pool don't erase a fragrance, I mean I think that's a well-built fragrance. If you take a shower and try to scrub and it's still faintly there, then it's a very strong fragrance. All of these fragrance, Nails and Ishtar and the Aribiat are super strong, legit beast mode fragrance. This is Bulgari. It's a musk fragrance like Bulgari Tigger, which is like citrus, soft, musk, kind of grapefruity. Kind of like Bleu de Chanel. This is like Aventus, but it does dry down a little sweet. It starts out very unique that it develops from smoky green apple pineapple to a sweet green apple pineapple. Five hours later, Ishtar Citrus Oud is the one everyone's talking about. Yes, Joaquin Lopez, I'm going to hook you up. Here, I got, I got you your bottle right here. I'll put your name on it right now if you want. Look at that. You get your stuff. I'm not joking with you, Joaquin. It doesn't matter. There's no arguments. There's only gra gratitude. I am so happy that you guys come to watch me on a Saturday night. 23 of you or however many are left. 12. I mean, I never want to waste your time, but I think tomorrow you'll really enjoy the video. I hope you'll be there 11 a.m. Eastern time zone. That's why I'm here to promote the video. And anyone on the restream, add yourself a free gift when you order $60. If there's any left, there's just type in free. You get 10% off. This is called Carbon Noir. Smells like bad boy. Carbon Noir. Smells like Carolina Herrera bad boy. Let's open it. The Liam Blue Shine is still on my hand. Smells pretty good, but starting to dry out a little bit citrusy. Man, this these are really good. They're coming up. I mean, this is called Reefs. Mm, probably doesn't last but four hours, but I'm not sure. I can't say it. Ajmal Kuro. I forgot what that smelled like. Just got Rubroka Pride. Ooh, very good indie niche. <laughs> I was talking about Rubroka Pride. Oh, my Ood. I never had that one. I had Rubroka Pride Intense. I had Rubroka Pride Intense years ago. This is Cocktail Intense. This is really good, but doesn't last as long as Ari's Intense. Scent of the day is Ajmal Kuro. Mr. A is dead. Trakar Intense. 18 bucks, bro. Four ounces. Let's take a look. You know what else is good? What would be a great vanilla powdery amber fragrance? Still le learning the hobby. You're the best. What would be a great vanilla powdery amber fragrance? I'll show you. I'm going to show you. First of all, here's Dracar Intense. This one does have 
this is not what you're looking for it's just drakkar intense a little bit boozy a little bit like cacao sort of notes it's different and it does last a decent amount of time it's unique vanilla amber for new beginners you get this right here vanilla amber for new beginners this one lasts eight hours. It's called Nusuk Fawa. And what's your name? Chaos. Your name is Chaos. Chaos Mansur 81013. So this one has vanilla and citruses and earthy notes and some amber. And it's kind of smoky. It's kind of intelligent. I mean, complex. And the one that's more mass appealing. The one that's more mass appealing is called RMF. I don't have it around here. It's called RMF Imperia Gold Limited Edition. It's in a gold box. It's very mass appealing for that vanilla scent. And then, of course, we have this one. This is Nile Queen, which is vanilla, black pepper, saffron, stuff like that so it smells like baby cat it's got some leather in it very awesome very very awesome and then Ari's intense is completely a great vanilla fragrance Ari's intense smells like angel sheer so those are some good vanilla fragrances that are on a budget and they last a long long time fragrance world amber eve is a great amber and vanilla Brother John, what's up, Unc? Family, DMV. Mercedes Benz Black. Yeah, that's an excellent one. Mercedes Benz Black is vanilla. There's one called Mercedes Benz Black. And then the one called Vanilla So Sweet. Isn't that like the Gear Lang Spirit, Spirit Double Vanilla? Is that correct? RCR8093. Is Vanilla So Sweet by Fragrance World Gear Lang? Double vanilla, is that correct? RCR8093. Hey, any recommendations for Killian Black Phantom clone? Yeah, there is one I found. It was, uh, let's see if I can find it real quick. Oh, no. There's none I have. Yeah, Black Phantom is Amber Vanilla. That's right. But check this out. I'll show you something. You can get the real thing right here. $25. And if you get two or sixty dollars worth, you can get 10% off. That's a great deal. Killian, the real deal, Black Phantom, Amber Vanilla. It's fantastic fragrance. It's so unique. I would grab that if I were you. That's a perfect thing. A super high-end, super luxurious, real deal. 125 sprays. It's what I do to help the, the channel and try to buy fragrances. And, I mean, the, that fragrance there costs $300. So, if you think about it, it's 3.4 for 300 which is exactly, I'm getting like 11 of those sprayers times 25 is about $300. It's like at cost. You know what I mean? I would appreciate it if you would pick up something from the website and we're giving away 10% discount of 60%. And tomorrow, if someone is on my live at 11 a.m. Eastern, I'm going to pick someone to win $50 gift certificate. I'll make my decision between now and 11.15 tomorrow during the live. And your name, if I see your name a lot, that will help boost your chances. And a lot means... You tell me your handle name in an email or in a purchase order or whatever. I will pick someone that's winning $50. What did I wear today? I wore a YSL baby cat. This is what I wore today, guys. Also, sorry I've not been purchasing as much late as I'm moving to Texas. I'm going to Texas next week too, but just for a couple of days. I'm sorry. Where are you from anyway? 
Well, when you move to Texas, it'll be around holiday season. You can punch that buy it now button and I'll hook you up. I got all kinds of free samples for you. Well, there's about it, but there's one more I want to show you. Remember, New AI is a cheap beast mode that smells like Phantom. Paco Rabanne. And this Hypnotic Oud is the beast mode that smells exactly 2x better than the original by the fireplace. It smells exactly, we'll say 102%. That's how, how good it smells. One, not 99%, 102% clone. You got it. Yeah, you know, I'm here for you, not you for me. I'm here for you. Oh, my God. It smells like instantly like you're at camping with a campfire and you just pull the marshmallow off and there's a chocolate and it's nice and cool. You've been cooling it off from the fire and you're about to take a bite into it. <sighs> Hypnotic ood, baby. That thing is legit beast mode. I mean, it is beast mode and it smells good. Think about it camp fiery wood marshmallow creamy sweet mixed together so it's spicy manly woody and deep inside you smell that marshmallow it's so delicious i'm like so passionate i'm so in love with this fragrance i love things that are like boozy caramelly vanilla that's my kind of fragrance i also love fresh fragrances like this liam blue La, La Tapa doesn't really make too many freshies, do they? This one smells like Aqua de Gio Profondo. It's drying down nicely. It's a freshie. And then we just got this one in Armat Voyage Titan Eau de Parfum. Let's see. I don't even know what it smells like. It probably smells like Amber Crombie and Fitch or something or Mont Blanc Legend. Mmm. Kind of smells like a uh, Prada Luna Rosa kind of like that it's that sweet fresh sporty smell nice I like that it's very very easy to wear very mass appealing this is anybody ever seen this it's called RMAP Voyage Titan I like it it's a freshy it's eau de parfum it's fire hey Sultan Rodriguez from Texas it's still freaking hot out here get chrome legend keep it in fresh this is another freshie you can get. And then you can get this freshie. Citizen Jack, 60% off. Use my lol code 60. Smells like Prada Luna Rosa Sport, which is kind of hard to find. Get open road to Citizen Jack. It's legit fire because it smells so good. So easy to wear in Texas, in Miami, at work, on a date, in the dinner time. Go to a breakfast, go swimming, wear Citizen Jack open road. All occasions. Unc, I would love to know if there's a clone of Tom for Costa Zero Parfum. Not that I know of, but there is a clone called Just Jack Amalfi Coast that we have for 30 bucks that smells like Tom Ford's Amalfi Coast Neroli or something like that. Let's see. I'm going to pull that one up real quick. A M A L F I. That Costa Azura Parfum is the barbershop fragrance, isn't it? I mean, or is it the new one? Because they, they used to have an EDP. Ah, oh, Just Jack Amalfi Coast. Mandarino de Amalfi. Tom Ford inspired a burst of green freshness intertwined with vibrant citrus notes. Captures the essence of sun-drenched Mediterranean garden where men are in oranges and lemons and glisten under the swarm rays of the sun the initial impression is bright zesty and undeniably refreshing that's great 34 bucks that's good man but yeah the one you're talking about is different it's more like a a barbershop what is it called Tom Ford Costa Azura no that's like I have Costa Azura Aqua I have Costa Azura Aqua which is a fresh I never had that Costa Azura maybe I have to get that now you you, you bunked me you uh debunk me yes justin muscatello i have a tobacco leaf on the website let's check and double check for you i'm um, double check for you let's see 
yep just jack tobacco leaf is on the website there's six left it's a tobacco vanilla without burning a hole in your wallet and it's just that's what it is tobacco and vanilla and it's spicy and it's all grooming together it's a sprinkle of vanilla though it's real nice and someone said that they love the fragrance how it delivers and dances all together and they said that just jack is really good i just started playing around with them so there it is and there is me so much love to everyone thank you for choosing to watch this and spend time with me please do help support thanks to randall real estate for the super chat everybody on the restream gets 10 percent off till tomorrow 10 i mean 11 a.m tomorrow eastern time is a new video called 200 clones look for 200 clones the video my face won't be on it please watch it share it like it help it out see you on the stream tomorrow link above tobacco leaf on his site oh yeah that is my link that's right that's my link yep also in the description there's a bunch of links thank you rcr very nice you guys are all so nice i love the love i love the community we have here you're all really cool cool people man if anything's bothering you text me and i'll try to help you out you know I'm, i care right jeff thanks you for for joining have a great saturday night peace and love